Okay, the hour of 6 o'clock having arrived, we'll call a regular meeting of the Sherman Village Board to order. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Trustee Gray. Yes. Trustee Hart. Yes. Trustee Long. Yes. Trustee Rockford. Excused absence. Trustee Schultz. Excused absence. Trustee Tim. Excused absence. Here, as four members of the Village Board answering the roll, quorum being established, we're going to proceed with the order of business as set forth on the agenda. For the record, today is Tuesday, December 15th of 2020. We're at the Sherman Village Hall, 401 St. John's Drive in Sherman, Illinois. The time is 6 o'clock. It's a regular meeting. Brings us to the uh, Pledge of Allegiance, item number two under the opening. Can I ask everybody to stand and face the flag? And let's have uh, Chief Mayor, please lead us to the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation. Under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Chief. We need to set the agenda. The agenda has been posted 48 hours in advance of the uh, in advance of the meeting in accordance with the Open Meetings Act. No uh, action items unless it's of emergency purpose can be added. But I'm chair would entertain any discussion from trustees to be added. Okay, seeing none, we need a motion to set the agenda. Trustee. Gray makes a motion, second by Trustee Hahn. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed? The ayes have it. The agenda is set. Clerk's report. Presentation of December 1st, 2020. Regular board meeting minutes are presented for approval. Are there any additions or corrections to the minutes as presented by Clerk Bowl? Okay, seeing none, we need a motion to approve the December 1st, 2020 meeting minutes. Is there a motion to that effect? Trustee Gray makes a motion, second by Trustee Long. Uh, clerk, would you please call the roll? Trustee Gray? Yes. Trustee Hong? Yes. Trustee Long? Yes. Okay, with three members voting yes, that allows the president to vote yes as well to uh, have the major receive a constitutional majority. That four members voting yes, none voting no, the minutes are adopted, presented. Item number two is the presentation of the bills for approval. Are there any trustees seeking recognition or clarification on any bills? Anything to point out outside the norm? Um, just couple items. I, I sent you some additional warrants today that Jeremy got to me. Mm -hmm. um, and also, you'll see the, what is basically the final payoff for Copper Truth yep. for the work performed. There is one item that is left that the, they have on retainer that they'll come back in the spring and performance mm -hmm. as well as the uh, construction of the splash pad as well. Okay. Need a motion to approve the bills for payment. Is there a motion to that effect? Motion has been made by Trustee Long, second by Trustee Hunt. I'm sorry, we'll do a, a, roll, a roll call vote. Trustee Gray? Yes. Trustee Hahn? Yes. Trustee Long? Yes. Could you please add Trustee Rockford to the roll? We are voting on the bills. You're up. Oh. <laughs> Trustee yes. Rockford. Oh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so now that is four members of the bills board voting yes, none voting no. The bills are approved for payment. Next item is the uh, there is no treasurer's report. We had that last meeting. Village engineer's report, he has the evening off and was here at the last meeting. Same with legal, nothing to have them here for, per se, at this lighter agenda meeting. The village administrator and economic development coordinator has nothing. Do you have anything to add just verbally? Yes, sir. Okay, so this president's report. The president's report brings us to item number one. There's a resolution that sits before the board on the table. This is a request from the Sherman Fire Department, Fire Protection District. I spoke of this in a previous meeting, or meetings. We had received a letter uh, a few months back from President Randy Burge. They were requesting five Zoll Pro automated external defibrillators at $2,928.74 each for a total cost of $14,643.70 and eight SCBA replacement bottles with 4,500 PSI valve assemblies at $955 each um, for a total cost of $7,640. The letter stipulated and asks, I'm requesting on behalf of the Sherman Fire Protection District $22,283.70 from village tip funds that will be used to purchase these those items I just specified. There's some verbiage there. I'm not going to go into it. You know what the uh, seller, an amazing job the fire department does, the aging equipment and the growth 
um, that has happened within the TIF districts, which puts additional calls and strain on that fire department's uh, resources, and thus lending the auspices as to why we would support their needs that support our TIF districts, especially our business um, TIF districts. So that being said, this request sits before us. We have an ordinance, I'm sorry, a resolution 20-10, a resolution approving a request from the Sherman Fire Protection District in the amount of $22,283.70. We have that in your board packet. Is there any discussion? And we've hit this on a couple meetings already. So the chair would entertain a motion to adopt said resolution. Is there a motion to that effect? So Trustee Hong will make a motion. I see Trustee Long seconding that. This is a resolution. We could do a, a, a voice vote, but let's go ahead and just do a roll call vote. Trustee Gray? Yes. Trustee Hong? Yes. Trustee Long? Yes. Trustee Rockford? Yes. And I'll vote yes. Uh, on the prevailing side as well. So that's five members voting yes, none voting no. The resolution is adopted by a vote, uh, by a voice record, recorded vote on vote. The next item is the approval of an, of an engagement letter with Sickich. The board has requested, as well as I have, um, in some of our conversations, we're coming up on the closure and close out of one of our TIF, actually a couple of our TIF districts, <coughs> few of them and so we want we wanted to certify the remaining we wanted to know the remaining funds and get that all dialed in so I had suggested that we actually engage Sickish which is our auditing firm who already has all the research and information um, and knows the villages uh, in the financial picture so that all being said also with the close out essentially of the original TIF for sure. We wanted to know what the exact remaining funds were in that account and what we're gonna be coming in as well. And then um, having that you know, information certified from a Fortune 500 company like Sickich to allow us to appropriate specific dollars and close out the process. The, you know, the process per the, the statutes and how that all will transpire. So that being said, there is uh, a letter from Sickich. It's uh, not too expensive. It'll be used. Tip funds will be used for this in an amount not to exceed five thousand dollars for them to actually come in, certify the remaining dollars and the remaining dollars that are still to come in and the remaining dollars that are out against the bond that we kind of advanced on the future revenues of that. So. That being said, <clears throat> I would recommend, and I know you are already on board for it, but that we engage Sickich to do such a study. <coughs> Is there any discussion? Okay, so we need a motion to approve the, the engagement letter and appropriate from the TIF fund an amount not to exceed $5,000 for the certification of the, tip, the remaining TIF dollars. Is there a motion to that effect? Trustee Gray makes a motion, seconded by Trustee Hunt. Clerk Bull, would you please call the roll? Trustee Gray? Yes. Trustee Hahn? Yes. Trustee Long? Yes. Trustee Rockford? Yes. Four members voting yes, none voting no. The authority has been granted and that initiative will take place and move forward. Item number three, approval of the engagement letter with Hart, Southworth, and Witzman. This is simply an engagement letter with uh, <coughs> Mike Southworth, who's bond counsel. We've talked about the need to do a future bond in the future, or do a bond in the future for additional roads and things along those lines that we previously had done, well, I think it's been probably five, six years ago, five, six years ago now. You guys have all already been through this process, so you know it, and so, but this is a simple engagement letter. This does not bind us to actually doing the bond, but it does get the process rolling. It does authorize Mike Southworth uh, his firm to actually start council. And I will tell you this, we, if we're gonna do the bond for infrastructure improvements, we, ha we have to do it before March. End of March or March, beginning of March? March 1. March 1, okay. We're already talking about it anyway, but this gets the process going and 
you know, because March 1 is two months away, essentially. So that being said, any discussion? Okay, so we need a motion to, for the approval of the engagement letter with Hart, Southworth, and Witzman. Is there a motion that affect okay. Trustee Long? Makes a motion seconded by Trustee Rockford. Clerk, please call the roll. Trustee Gray? Yes. Trustee Hahn? Yes. Trustee Long? Yes. Trustee Rockford? Yes. Four members voting yes, none voting no. The engagement of said law firm is authorized to move forward. Item number four, I think uh, I know that Trustee Rockford had brought this forward. I don't know if any other members have been contacted by the firm <coughs> high school, but uh, Trustee Rockford had brought this forward as well. And it, did we also receive it at the Village Hall? But anyway, no. that being Trustee said, right. so yeah, um, Trustee Rockford received uh, correspondence and a request that we participate in the Williamsville High School after prom 2021, uh, sponsored by the parents of the of the class of 2022 for a request of how much? $500? That's what we've always done. Okay. Any discussion regarding this? We do it every year. So, a motion to Trustee Rockford will make a motion the amount of $500 to be distributed to the after prom 2021 committee. Is there a second? Second. Second by Trustee Hahn. Clerk, please call the roll. Trustee Gray? Yes. Trustee Hahn? Yes. Trustee Long? Yes. Trustee Rockford? Yes. Four members voting yes, none voting no. The after prom sponsorship is mm -hmm. will be transmitted to them. Committee department reports, of which there are none. Sherman Police Department, Chief Mayor, he has nothing to add tonight. Sherman Emergency, Man Emergency Management Agency, Director Mose is not in attendance, uh, excuse the absence, and uh, brings us to the Sherman Public Works. Director Newton has an eye off as well. One thing I want to, real yep. quick, uh, and I told Sean and the guys that is the, the trees in front of Sam's there, all those trees. Yeah. That's the best I've hey. ever seen. They look yeah. awesome. Yes. I mean, the, all the lights look great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Them look really, really good. They got uh, a new bucket truck and extended that very high. And yeah. It's put a lot of time. It's almost you'll be right, but not <laughs> no, I couldn't agree with you more. I think the board does. Uh, is, is, is. I always do a great job. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, new business. No new business come before the board. Any old business to come before the board? We have no civic organizations before us this evening. There is no executive session this evening. It brings us to the public comment period, of which nobody has signed in to speak and address the board. That's going to bring us to the adjournment resolution. We started this meeting at 6.01, at 6.14, that's 13 minutes. Quick statement, thank you to the police department for their participation in the uh, Sherman Christmas Parade yesterday. Cannot thank you guys enough. Same in county as well, they participated. Uh, I want to thank Santa and Mrs. Claus for <laughs> their participation. If anybody knows you. You almost got it. Now we want to thank Trustee Hahn and his wife for uh, for playing Santa and uh, bringing a lot of good to the town with this kind of somewhat impromptu parade. It was fun, and I will tell you, um, all the things we've done. I mean, it literally felt like we did some. I mean, I you know a lot of times it feels like we do some good. This one felt. Exceptionally. Yeah. yeah. Like, I just felt bad because the little kids all had their bags. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've seen, the, I've seen the most genuine smiles. Oh, yeah. Waves coming from everywhere inside yeah. the house, right on the doorsteps. Yeah. Kids out in the, you know, in the street mm -hmm. with parents. It was a good thing, and I actually yeah. think it's going to be a, somewhat of a mainstay. We'll probably be doing it next year for I sure. Hope so. yeah. I want to thank Public Works Director Sean Newton and his wife. I want to thank uh, Sean Bolt, Clerk Bowl, and old Mike Stratton here. These guys really banged out uh, some nice yeah. decorations on the vehicles, came up with some good ideas for the park benches to yeah. put in the back of the Public Works facility, or Public Works uh, vehicles. So, it's not uh, quite will be bright. Was, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think it looked great. I, I mean, from all the stuff that's going on nowadays, and to you guys to figure out some way to yeah. do that. Yeah, it was really good. It was mostly the 
people in the windows. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they were so excited. It's Brookfield Clinic. Oh, no, it was uh, at the at, at Fire and Hill. They were dancing inside as we were driving by. Uh, you know, just like, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that was fun. No, great job. Yeah. Yeah. Taylor Moore yeah. oh, works in the administration with Mike, uh, our younger guy who's learning a lot about um, how to run a village and urban planning and various things like that. I think he's changing his there. career. He's going to be my like idea. Yeah, yeah. right? But he played Rolly the Frog, so he, he was uh, in character and did very well. And he planned the parade route, which oh. I got to say, it was two hours and it was two hours. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. The cars that were lined up for the goodie bags that yeah. Clerk Global had uh, arranged went like that and now we know next year that you know they're a, they're a hit and we had you know, some people that couldn't even make it that wanted to request them he, you know if there was any leftovers and unfortunately there wasn't but it was a good thing and I want to just I mean thank everybody and say Merry Christmas to the board and to the town and everybody that helped out and participated and yeah. look forward to 2021 with that being said is there any further business to come before the board Okay, so we need a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn has been made by I'll give it to Trusty Juan. She just reminded me that Alana is on the uh, <laughs> six o'clock. And uh, we need a second from Trustee Gray. So all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, the board is adjourned at 618. So 17-minute meeting. Bye.